Hey guys, this is Matt Dunn with First Class Defense. Today we're gonna to go through a footwork workout that is good for every type of defender, all right? We're gonna work on general movements um, with great posture and great attention. The goal here is to make sure we can move through with speed while staying under control. All these drills are meant to be able to be done anywhere. You can do it in your backyard with a few cones. You can also get creative with where you set up the cones. The major focus is the types of movements we're doing and how we're doing them. For our first few drills, we're gonna focus on moving backwards in our retreat steps. There's different ways to do this, but the main focus is to get back quick Quickly, so as guys dodge at us, we can move back and give them space. We have to do it with speed, but also stay under control and maintain great posture. The first drill, we're gonna work on our kickbacks, resetting and doing it multiple times and finish with a break and a sprint out of it. Main focus is we're gonna start with our right foot forward here in great defensive posture. We're gonna be butt down, chest up, chin up. I'm gonna maintain this posture throughout, sitting nice and low and keeping my stick out in front the whole time. We have four cones set up about three yards apart in a straight line, and there's gonna rep this, reset after each rep, and then finish throw. things we want to focus on as we do these kickbacks it's one as we get back we want to work to accelerate with speed backwards but I want to make sure I'm settled up and under control to break out of it after each rep so as I come back I want to make sure I'm not off balance here leaning backwards but I want to finish each rep quickly back in front of the cone settled ready to go out of this next thing is with the kickbacks we want to work on staying square to our defender and sticky with our torso to the dodger so that I'm not turning my torso open as I go, but I'm staying square but moving backwards and laterally. This is great so we can keep our stick on the defender and my hands here so that if he goes to make a move, I can poke and change direction better, but also I can drive better out of this. Lastly, with our kickback, one thing to focus on is our knee that we're, kicking, that we're reaching back as we go. So if this knee starts to open, my hips are starting to open and I'm turning. I want to try to keep this knee closed here, boom, and kick at an angle rather than to open my hips and shuffle at this angle. So as you're doing this, work hard to stay square with our chest, kick and push and reach back to get that angle backwards. For this next variation of the drill, we're still gonna work on getting backwards with speed and under control. Now we're gonna start with a straight line back pedal and transition into a kick step. So as I come back, starting here, I'm gonna back pedal, boom. Then I'm gonna transition into my kick, finish the same way we finished the last drill, settle and under control, stick out in front, butt down, chin up, chest up. One reason we want to practice our back pedals as well as our kickbacks is there are two different ways to retreat and keep space as the dodger comes at us. A kickback probably gives you a little more control and stability with your feet under you, but a back pedal probably gives you a little more speed. So as dodger starts sprinting at me, a lot of times in space, I want to use a back pedal to keep the cushion, and then as they start to close the gap and we get tighter, I'll switch into a kickback to transition into my next phase of movement. So different guys may use these differently, but being able to do both well and transition between them is really critical. Here we have a setup where we can do continuous zigzag movements. We're gonna start off with the kickback. You'll see we have cones angled at about 45 degrees back from each cone, about four to five yards or so and four to five yards wide. Um, for each movement, we're gonna start off in our low defensive posture. When I'm moving this way, I'm gonna start with my left foot forward for the kickback, and I'm gonna settle up in an athletic posture each time I get to a marker. After you, do, after you do about three to four reps of this drill, you can flip these markers and do the same thing on the other side where we start with our right foot forward and everything else is the same. Maintaining the same zigzag setup, the next variation is going to be a back pedal transitioning into a kickback to each marker. We're gonna settle up at each marker again and then out of the last marker, we're gonna break laterally straight across. To start this drill now, we're gonna start slightly in front of each marker so that we can get our few back pedals to get behind it, transition into our kickback to the next marker. We still want to maintain great posture here, butt down, chin up, chest up, stick out front, low and under control.
For the last variation of the zigzag setup, we're gonna start in our back pedal again, transition into our kickback laterally, about a 45 degree angle, and then we're gonna transition into an open and run or a crossover run. You guys can feel out and play with these movements and test both out, because both happen at different points in games, but then we're gonna transition back into a controlled position at the marker each time and settle back up. So I'm gonna go through this slowly to show you, and then I'll wrap out the drill. It's also important to note that for these drills, you can, every time you do them, you can change around where the markers are. In a game, guys don't always dodge to the exact same spots, and you're gonna have to do a bunch of different movements at different angles. So feel it out, move the cones around a little to feel it's natural, and then try out some different angles. Although we work to cover the ball, we want to do our best to keep our torso sticky to the dodger. At times, as these guys move with great speed, it's going to be hard to move with them and keep my chest square at all times. Sometimes as a defender, we might have to open and run to play an angle to catch up to a guy to get our hands on him. But what we want to try to do is as we do those transitions, one, we don't do it too early and automatically. That's why we want our back pedals and kick steps in here. Then we transition into the turn. I might still try to keep my chest towards him. And if I can't, I might open my chest entirely. But out of that, I want to try to find a point where I can reclose. What I mean by that is I come back, I kick, I open here. I want to try to reclose my chest to him as I got my hips back around. So that's where we're repping with these movements, where we're going to do different movements of back pedals, kicks, opens. But as I open, I want to try to reclose and get used to that, getting my hips back from a speedy, uncontrolled position to a solid grounded position from settled, ready to make contact, check and defend. As a bonus for these movements, if you have a partner, a friend, a teammate, or a parent that can come out and help you, we can do reactionary drills where we focus on that same footwork, but now we're moving with the body so it's more game-like. So I'm gonna do it right now where I break down, and Coach Class here is gonna do a couple moves at me, and for the first one, I'm gonna try my best to stay as square as possible with my torso by using my back pedal, stick out in front and kickbacks, and every time he splits, I'm gonna refinish squared up in that settled position, but if at any point he makes a move that's fast enough or I miss a step and have to recover, I I will need to transition into my crossover, my open run, and then resettle my hips back around in front of them. You can also rep this drill without a stick, which will make it more difficult for you because you won't have that cushion, but you still want to try to keep that space with your feet as if you had a stick in front. To finish the workout, we're going to do a few movements with a conditioning focus. So we're going to work on repping similar defensive movements that you would do in a game, but repeatedly, so that we're going to get a conditioning component to it. The key here is as we get tired, to make sure we're maintaining good posture, keeping our stick out in front, and not getting sloppy with our footwork. The first drill is going to be retreat and break. So mostly I'm gonna use back pedals here as if somebody's dodging a speed in the open field and they split and I'm gonna work the plant, drive hard out of it, basically at a 90 degree angle flat across. As we pick up speed going straight at a 90 is gonna to be tough, but that's gonna be our focus here. So as I get back to break, if I'm going to the right, I wanna drop my hips, drive off my left and step to the right. I might try to keep my chest square to the dodger here. Then I'm gonna get back into a back pedal and repeat that five times. Our next defensive footwork specific conditioning drill is going to rep crossover run at a 45 degree angle into a lateral shuffle. So for this one, we're gonna have to do it both ways. I'm gonna start by crossing over to my left at a 45 degree angle and then shuffling back to my right. It's gonna look like a start off in good defensive posture. We're going to drop at a 45, cross, 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 boom, break down, shuffle flat across, and we're gonna repeat this for five reps. These two conditioning drills are great ways to rep our defensive specific movements and get a good conditioning burn out of it. The way you factor these into your workouts is if it is mainly your conditioning or your workout for the day or you have a lighter week, you can do three to four reps of each of these. 
If you're doing specific footwork after a practice or when you have a heavier workout week, you can limit the conditioning piece of this and just focus on more of the form of the movements. So many defenders talk about when I ask how they're working out, they say things like, great, I've been, you know, I run two miles or three miles every other day, which is awesome for general fitness, but as an athlete and as a defender, that doesn't help us much when we really need to be great in our breaks, have great strength in our shuffle, and be able to make those movements efficiently while we're tired. So rather than go for those jogs, if you're looking for workouts or ways to condition, consider repping movements like this over and over again. You'll get a great, you can hear me breathing here, you'll get a great workout, but also you're doing the movements that you need to get better at to be a great defender. And now I'm training my speed, my conditioning, and my movements in that posture as well, which will translate better over to the practice field and game field. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to FCL for more content and film breakdowns and workouts like this.